I'm trying to build my very own sneaker collection with no money out of pocket. How? I'm doing that by going to stores like this one, the Goodwill Bins, where I can pretty much buy anything and pay by the pound. So you can get shoes for pretty cheap here. I'm gonna pop in and see if I can find anything underpriced that I can sell online, and then we can use those profits to fund our sneaker collection. And I got Carly with me. So as I mentioned, the Goodwill Bins is pay by the pound. And here in my area, it is $1.89 per pound. And the way it works is basically they roll out these blue bins full of clothes, shoes, hard goods, and various other things throughout the day. As they're rolling them out, they have you line up by the entrance. Some locations do it a little different, but it's generally the same concept. So you start out by lining up by the door and whenever the employees say go, you can rush the bins and look over them and try to see what you're going to reach for after they let you start digging. And then once they let you start digging, it's just a fight to get the best items that you can find before someone else snatches them from right in front of you. And when we showed up to the Goodwill bins today, we actually got there right on time. They were rolling out brand new shoe carts and I ended up walking in the doors and getting right in the back of the line. And once they said go, I went through the bins and let me show you what I ended up walking away with. After the first rotation, got a solid little bag full. I got really excited finding these Yeezy 350s, but after inspecting them right here, I just look at the tag in there. I mean, they're they're clearly fake. So that was kind of a letdown, but I did manage to find these Ariat boots. These were the ones that I went to right off the rip. They were sitting on the, bit, the edge of the bin. So definitely grab those. But before I go through the bag, I wanted to go through and see if there is anything that anyone threw back. A good time to pick up shoes is after the rotation's over, uh, just to see what other people are throwing back. I did find these Air Force One Independence Days, but they were way too worn on the bottom, so I had to leave those behind. I also found these Toon Squad Crocs, but unfortunately they were both left feet, so there really wasn't much in the throwbacks worth picking up. But here's another look at what I did end up walking away with. These vintage Adidas dragons would have been a nice like 60 to 70 dollar flip but they were peeling on the inside so there's just another look at the fake yeezys that i found all right so here's everything we grabbed uh, as you can see we paid 18 12. Uh, this is definitely the best thing that we found these ariat boots in really good condition men's size 13 good size this will definitely we'll be in the profit after selling these these specialized sneakers the boa lacing system usually makes these things a little bit more valuable i do need to toss some insoles in them uh they don't have cleats but this is still a really good model with the with this lacing system they should sell 40 plus shipping so either one of those is going to put us in the profit again we only paid 18 dollars for everything grab these just to like a basic pair of nikes i'm probably going to run these through the washing machine uh, I don't know if you can tell, but a little discolored. They're a men's size seven, but I'll probably sell these a women's size eight and a half. Again, these ones need insoles, but I got plenty of these at home. And then the last find is these Under Armour Charged Five. I think that's a five bandit. So this should be like a new-ish model. Yeah, these are from 2020, so they're not super old. Um, is another one that's probably 40 plus shipping. Anything here is gonna put us in the profit. So I like sourcing at this place just because of the buy cost, but I don't like being here and fighting with everybody. You guys know how I feel about it, but that's all the shoes we got picked up. And I couldn't leave behind this little club penguin plush because you know, we're paying by the pound. This was pretty much free. So here's what we got. How'd you do today? Uh, I got 13 things for $12. Uh, three of them are mine. Two of them are kids clothing. I don't know what I'm gonna do with. <laughs> I have a problem with buying kids shoes and she has a problem with buying just kids anything. I limited myself. I only got two. Yeah. One was like new tag, so you know. We still have plenty of money to spend. Um, do you want to go thrifting today? Sure, but I need some food or something. Yeah, I need some food or something too. I'll I'll reassess. If I change clothes, we're we're finishing this week sourcing a different day. <laughs> but if I'm still in the same clothes, same day. Now, before we hop into the next stop, if you caught last week's episode, you know that we ended that episode with 40 cents in our sneaker collection fund. So you may be wondering where we're getting this money to spend. And well, we had nine sales roll in since last episode. So I'm gonna quickly go over how much those sold for and then how much money we're putting back into our fund after taking out our shipping costs and fees. So to kick us off, the iridescent Converse that we bought at Plato's Closet in episode one ended up selling for $56 dollars and 13 cents the roger federer on clouds that we also picked up from plato's closet those sold for 68 dollars the Nike Air Max Stefan Janoskis that we got at Goodwill ended up selling for $59.91. The Nike Air Zoom Pegasus Premium ended up selling on Poshmark for $39. The Air Max 97s that we picked up from Goodwill for $17 sold for $54.24. 
The other pair of on clouds that we also got at that same Plato's Closet trip sold for $64.77. And then the other pair of Stefan Janoski's, the camo ones, sold for an even $40 on Poshmark. The new with tags Teos sneakers that we found at Goodwill for $13, those sold for $72.09. And then our last sale of the week was the Mizuno Wave Creations. Those sold for $63.44. Now adding all of this together, that had a gross sales price of $582.35. But on that, we did have to pay $234.97 to get those shipped to the buyers as well as to pay the fees for the platforms that we're selling on. So taking that out, our total number that's gonna be added back into our sneaker fund was $300. $47.38. So adding in the 40 cents that we finished off last episode with, we're sitting at $347.78. But in last episode, we did pick up a pair of knee-high Converse for $25 at Goodwill, but unfortunately they didn't have laces and being knee-highs with 20 eyelets, they were kind of hard to find laces for. I know somebody commented on the last video telling me where to buy them, but I think the comment was removed or something I couldn't find it but I did end up finding a pair of laces on Amazon that I hope are going to fit those cost me five dollars and sixty eight cents so taking the cost of those laces out of our fund we are sitting at three hundred forty two dollars and ten cents and I know I'm dropping a ton of numbers on you but we do also have to take out what we just spent at the Goodwill bins and that was eighteen dollars and twelve cents so subtracting that from the fund we are sitting with three hundred twenty three dollars and ninety eight cents to finish out the rest of the episode. So let's hop into this next Goodwill and see if we can find some more shoes to add to the sneaker fund. All right, we are at a Goodwill and best part about it is... Same clothes. It's the same, same day. day. Same day. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's see if we can spend the rest of our budget. First pair that caught my eye were these New Balance Fresh Foams. They were the color of the week, which is blue. So they were only $7.50. Fresh Foams always do well for me. And I spotted these Mizunos. These were like an Atlanta Braves collab and they were only $11. The last Mizunos that we picked up did really well. So felt pretty good about grabbing these. And then up on the top shelf, I spotted some Echoes. I always do well with these, but not for $20, even in the condition they're in. And I gotta say, this is the first time I've ever found skate high bolts at the thrift store, but these were $40. So obviously left them and then turned around and found these, these Nike Dunk Lows at Goodwill. And they only had them priced at $13, which is crazy. I'm definitely gonna have to authenticate them, but a crazy find nonetheless. And then I had to leave this in. I'm just going through the, the, the shoes and then... What is that? Can I put it on the port? Do you think RJ would like it? So now that we got that over with, I spotted these Hoka's down on the bottom, but these were also $46, pretty, pretty pricey for a thrift store. So obviously left those behind. And then I also spotted these Brooks running shoes right next to them. They needed a clean, but if you caught the first episode, you know we're pretty good at cleaning up the white shoes. We got the Cortez's clean and these were only 15 bucks. So definitely went in and grabbed those. I spotted these Gary V K Swiss. Go. The truth, go. Expected these to have a resell, but not really. They, they didn't, had to leave them behind. And then I also spotted these Youth LeBrons, but unfortunately they were $16 and they had some pretty rough wear on them, so left those. And then these Air Max 90s, they were a toddler size. I just never really have too much luck with Air Max 90s and toddler sizes. First up at that Goodwill, spent $52.14. I ended up putting the New Balances back at the register because I noticed like the inside heel was kind of broken. So only one with these four. Uh, what else did I grab? The other kids' shoes, the Air Max 90s. I've just never had luck with those, so I left those, but I did pick up the Air Force Ones. Uh, I always do well in Air Force Ones, no matter what size they are, kids or adults. So I picked these up for 10. Probably gonna be at least a double up on those. Since the last New Balances that we had sold so fast, I was a little bit more confident on taking the gamble on these. There was like six listed, and there were, I think, three sold. A couple sold at like 49 plus shipping, so these are pretty cool. The Atlanta Braves they had the baseball stitching on the toe, so picked these up for 10 or 11 or something like that. Yeah, 11. And then if you got the first episode with the Nike Cortezes, I had to oxyclean those. I'm uh, gonna use the same method on these Brooks. The main thing with these, the colorway is amazing, and the, uh, the tread on the bottom, lots of life left. So these were 15, I think. Yeah, 15, great condition, a newer model, the Levitate 5s. Uh, Definitely happy to grab those for 15, but the definite find of the day, these Nike Dunk Lows from 2005. I need to run these through the uh, Check Shack app. 
the tag looks like that, but I checked other tags on GOAT and they look exactly the same. Uh, the SKU was, sim was, was the same across everything that I saw online. Um, again, really good condition. I saw one comp of these on eBay for $300. I'm sure I probably can't get that out of them, but still an amazing find to find dunk lows at goodwill i wish these were my size i do like the colors on them uh, but unfortunately we're looking for 10 and a half and these are 11 and a half but uh so far this is probably the find of the series this is going to help us get a lot of money into the fund but i think that's going to wrap up our sourcing day that find was absolutely crazy. Probably definitely my favorite find of the series so far. I went ahead and submitted the photos into the Check Check app and we got a pass. So super stoked about that. If you want to authenticate a pair of shoes and you've never used the Check Check app, I'll leave a referral code down in the uh, description of the video so you can get a free check when you download the app. But as you know, we started this video with 40 cents in our sneaker fund and 17 pairs in inventory. And between the nine sales that we had and the two thrift stores that we hopped into today, we're ending the video with over $270 in our sneaker fund and 16 pairs still left in inventory to sell to up that sneaker fund. So hopefully we can make our way up to the origin story Jordan ones. But if you've been following my Into the Sneakerverse series, you know that we're not stopping at those origin story ones. We are building an entire sneaker collection from scratch and I'm hoping to spend absolutely no money to do it. And I'm still putting together the list of shoes that I want in my collection. So if you've got any recommendations, make sure to leave those down in the comments section below. And in the meantime, I'm gonna get some of these shoes listed and hopefully sell a few so we can get out and go sourcing again. And I will see you guys when that video comes out. So stick around until then. And if it already has, there should be a thumbnail to it right here. But if not, the thumbnail you're seeing should be a video I'm sure you'll enjoy. So go ahead and give that one a watch. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode.